Greetings everybody and welcome to the most British vehicle in Armored Warfare. This little monster is possibly the Honey Badger of, Ar of Armored Warfare because like the Honey Badger, the Chieftain does not give a shit. If you'll excuse me, I must close, I must open the door for my cat because my cat wants to go out because the cat is not British enough for this review. So, the Chieftain Mark II is a relatively easy vehicle to get. It's not a premium, it's a regular tiered tank. It sits on Shiskin's line, which you can get right after the plane of T-62, which is a fun vehicle itself. Um, it leads on to the Chieftain Mark 10, the Chieftain 100, Challenger 2, now we have Challenger 2 and Challenger 2 AD to you. But out of all of them, to be honest, to me, this is the most fun out of the entire uh, heavily armoured British line to play. Because the Chieftain in Armoured Warfare, let's just get out of the way, it has no fucking hull armour. Your lower plate can be penned by everything that is a solid shot cannon, your upper plate can be penned by all the MBTs of your tier, and the Chieftain with, with its own head shells can basically pen itself in the upper plate. And the lower plate. And the side armour. And the rear turret armour. And, and anything above you can basically pen your... Let's put it this way. Everything that's above you can pen you. But. This especially applies to AFVs. You have these Hess shells. These Hess shells. Have a penetration of 156. But. They can cause damage to a vehicle without penetration. And their damage and penetration depend on the hit angle only if the angle is below 60 degrees. They do damage from anywhere from 115 to 776. But in retrospect, if you penetrate a target, say... I don't know. The upper plate of a T-64A69. You will do 600 damage, sometimes 700 damage. You will do module damage. If you hit him, say, I don't know there, which is where the turret ring, which is where the ammo is, you'll ammo rack him in two hits, sometimes even one. You get to penetrate the upper plate of your same tier vehicles, all of them, with basically an enhanced version of high explosive. You see that scorpion there? You can kill his entire crew. IS-7, right through the front plate. Same goes to higher tiers as well. You'll penetrate other, you'll you'll penetrate higher tier vehicles and lower plate. This BMD-2, fuck that BMD-2, he's dead. You're a honey badger. You don't give a shit. This Leopard 1A5 might as well be food. M60A3, blow off, blow off his lower plate ERA with an AP shell. Then hesh the shit out of it. Sheridan, he can do heat damage to you. You can do hash damage to him. You'll reload faster than he will. T64 A76, same thing. Hash the lower plate. You can hash his tracks. You can blow his tracks off with one hit. Okay, enough about the romantic fantasy. You're not going to be able to build a British Empire just by looking at the other vehicles. We've got to take a look at the Chieftain stats as well. The Chieftain is a slow turd. 0 to 32 in 9.2 seconds. It has a 20 degree hole traverse. It has a max speed of 48. It has 7,784 damage per minute. Mind you, that's going by the average low, lowest damage of the uh, AP 100 shells. Let me use my calculator. Because in fact, if you hit every time, let's say 650 with your heat shells, you have an RPM of 8.4. So, 60... Divided by 8.4, you have an RPM of 7.14 times 650. You, in fact, more like have a damage per minute of 4,600 with module damage. Now, I do believe Victor is the optimal commander to use. You want to go for swift response, which means that if you hit even a little bit of damage, you almost get a reload time of 10%. Okay, so now you've gone basically from 7 point to almost 8 R R 
RPM a minute. You've gone from 4,600 to 5,000 DPM. And guess what? You now have... And if you go down the anti-material explosive line, you get module damage improved by 20%, okay? Your crew damage is increased by 20%. See? It's great. And that's just those two perks there. You can go on for another eighteen percent. Congrats! You've now you've now got thirty percent extra and and anti module explosives. Same for the crew. Then you know just go for cannon hit points. This guy Victor, for 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 the chieftain, you want to hesh the shit out of your enemy. If I've not said this enough, hesh. You go thirty two hesh and twelve AP. That's it. That's all you need. Uh, standard retrofit supply, field real pool kit. You could swap out the fire extinguisher for an energy drink, you know, get your stats up. And standard first aid cabinet and surplus park crates. Uh, I would personally go for acceleration and hull traverse speed just because of how shitty the hull traverse is. Gunner, aim time. Maybe cannon hit points, maybe accuracy, maybe twist, it's up to you. And loader, to be honest, uh, I went with module damage, and possibly next one is going to be a rate of fire increase. Okay, you probably want to go for gun breach, accuracy, and improved filter systems, which gets your acceleration up. Um... Comparison list between the closest competitors, which would be the M60, the T64, and the T72. You have the second best damage in your tier. You have the best penetration. You have the highest DPM when using your hair shells. You have pretty good reload time, actually. Uh, you have the most hit points. So while you have really shitty armor, you can tank people. Uh, hull, your hull is basically butter, so is your turret. They all have better mobility-wise. You're basically screwed. Camouflage. Who gives a damn about camouflage? You also have the best gun depression as well. This means to those vehicles that can't pen your turret and you go on a reverse ridge, you can sit there and you can hash them. Maximum deviation. You are the most accurate tank in your tier, I think. Aim time. To be honest, two, two seconds is basically instant. You see? You are basically what the chieftain was intended to be. You go hold down, you load hash, and you blow up people. And we're gonna watch the best game I've ever had in the chieftain, provided I remember where it is. Because I've played a lot of games recently. Cold strike. Or it may have, you know, gone the wrong place. 7,000 damage in the Chieftain. It's not the T80, I'm pretty sure of that. Or the XM1. There we go, I'm pretty sure. It's this game, okay? Uh... 10,000 damage. I'm so good at this. <sighs> there we go. So, I am playing with Arcangelo. This is an encounter on Waterway. Every single vehicle on that enemy team, I can pen its upper plate with Hesh. I can do a ridiculous amount of manual damage to them. Those T-72s, if I was using AP with them, they'd win. I'm using Hesh, I'm gonna win. They have armor that can bounce the other tiers. It's a pretty heavily armored tank. I don't have any armor, I'm slower. But I'm a chieftain. 
I don't give a shit. So, standard tactics apply for MBTs. The Chieftain is way too slow to go down south on this map, which is this area here. If I go here and I get spotted, I'm going to die horrible screaming death. Therefore, the only viable alternative is, is to go in this area here, which is okay, or I could go to City. The City allows me to fire at one target at a time. It allows me to use cover. So, why not? So, we're going to skip forward, because this thing is very, 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 very slow. You see, isn't watching this just painful enough? Look at it. That's a Chinese tank that's like 400 years old. He's faster than me. Archangler is behind me. As you can see, the only rounds I have loaded in this are Hesh. And this thing is pretty big as well. It's It was actually quite a bit smaller in real life. Um, if this thing gets its side reduced and it gains more acceleration, this could be way more fun. Now, while the T-64s are basically overpowered, this isn't. This is not a tank you can face roll people with. It does require some knowledge of the game and skill. So basically, remember that video Slip Phantom did? You are the educated Lerva driver and they are the peasant IS-6 drivers. And now I'm going to go up here. Well, I wanted to go up here and I want to go hold down. And I'm waiting for the enemy. Archangelo was telling me uh, not to push up because I have no hull armor. You see that T64 over there? Boom! 608 damage. And his driver's damaged. And since I reload faster than him, 567 damage. Not bad. Not bad at all. You see that chieftain over there? Fuck you. Damage is at my rack. I'm a honey badger. I don't give a shit. Now, technically speaking, that Type 79 is, at this point in the patch, he is basically frontal to the And you see that? That was an ammo wreck hit. Two hits, and he's dead. I did a hellish amount of damage to that chieftain. I basically took all of his hit points off him. See that scorpion on the over there? Fuck you, scorpion. Couldn't do that with AP, of course. But I can do it with Hesh. See that leopard? Leopard's got the best heat rounds. I don't care, I'm a chieftain. Fuck you. <laughs> See? I'm on 4,000 damage, and all I've done so far is basically point and click. The same goes for higher tier really, it means mo most of the time you can pen their lower play and if you can't, you have you you still have some pretty good AP rounds to go with. It is 120mm after all. In fact, it's the only 120 in its tier. Uh, the M60 has the 105, the Russians have the 125s which have better alpha damage but worse pen and worse accuracy. I'm going to slowly move along here. Now this is a mistake I made. Um, I wanted to pen this T-72 side with Hesh, which I can't because he's got spaced armor there. So I was trying to aim on him, wasn't happening. But ho, oh, I spotted a dragon over there. Now this is basically that module damage. There's his ammo rack and his turret drive dead. Sorry, his breach and his turret drive. He can't fire. Didn't matter, he's dead. Now, I'm going to waste an awful lot of uh, no rounds trying to shoot this guy. Now, at some point, I'm going to figure out to myself that, that I'm basically just better off shooting AP. Now, I track him with Hesh, because Hesh basically gives you... It basically allows you to track vehicles in one shot, which is great. Nope, still tracking him. This was actually quite an embarrassing point in the stream because I wanted to make sure he would stay there. There we go, there's some AP damage. 500 damage of AP, that's not bad. I mean, in four shots you've done 2,000 damage to people. Again, nice rolling. I've knocked out his ammo right with these AP rounds thanks to that module damage. Overall, Freya gives you basically mobility and uh, turret 
and ultra and and, and and ultra verse buffs but what you really want to do in the chieftain is that you basically want to go with victor because victor gives you that insane module damage and when you get hit you get a better reload time when you use a chieftain especially the chieftain mark 2 it's all about that hash it's all about that hash you don't want to use anything else now unfortunately the slow speed of the chieftain is a pain it means that once you're committed to an engagement usually you can't get out unlike the t-series that means that you are at a huge disadvantage when firing when when fighting opponents uh, that are more mobile with you because you are reacting to them while they can dictate the engagement therefore in all honesty it is very very important that you think what you're going to do with the chieftain beforehand there's no, way, there's no 82 over there. I was wondering if I was going to pen him actually, but no, he's he's run off by now. I shoot anyway. I don't know, I, I felt like it. No, I'm still focused then, like, okay, they're capping. Now, I don't think his intention was to cap. But unfortunately for him, he's given his position away. As you can see, the slow movements of the Chieftain is very, very painful. And I'm getting shot at by that T-92. Oh, unfortunately, he revealed himself. Hey, Chieftain. Hey, Light Tank, are you having fun? Now, if it was anyone else... Or anyone with a semblance of reality, he would have run off by now. But unfortunately, he's going to stay and fight, which is a very, very bad thing to do. Now, thankfully, the Chieftain's side skirts does actually give it some measure of uh, heat protection, but don't count on it. This thing is butter. The only strong point of this tank is the turret, and even then, that's a bit if iffy. For all intents and purposes, you are a glass cannon. Oh, wait, you two over there. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, there he is. Oh, turn it around, turn it around, turn it around, turn it around, turn it around. Oh. So we've done 7,851 damage with five kills. Let's return to garage. Now, I would like to review the after stats of that battle actually, um, just to give you a hint and the game has disconnected me from the server. Okay, so we can't do that, but I would very very much recommend this tank. Using Hesh on the Chieftain is most of the time the only ammo you should load. You should definitely take a small reserve of armor piercing shells simply because sometimes there will be some targets you can't take out with Hesh. But yes, I do definitely recommend the Chieftain. I recommend it for low tiers if you are just dying in Armored Warfare, if you are just figuring out what low tier fun MBT I can take without the face rolling potential of the T-64, take a Chieftain. It is incredibly fun. It is a blast to play. And you get to piss off those annoying AFEs who find nothing but heat all day. Because this time, you can ammo rack most of them or kill their crews. So, thank you for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this review. And bye, Chieftain Mark II. Do it. Take care out there. And see you all next time. Bye.